Hey fam, happy new year, happy 2020. It's January 3rd and I'm super excited to be checking in with you again about my review and progress with the Tone and Sculpt app by Chrissy Chella. A lot has happened since my last six week update. The December challenge through Tone and Sculpt occurred. The holidays came and went and the Tone and Sculpt app also relaunched with brand new features and updates on January 1st. So excited to go through all of this with you. I've made such amazing progress personally. Let's go ahead and get into it. My very first review about the Tone and Sculpt app was after six weeks of use. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and find it in the description below. My main goal was to get back to rock climbing, strengthen the muscles around my neck, and just establish a really great fitness routine for myself. I accomplished all three of those things. I felt so much better and stronger doing all the exercises. I also gained so much more confidence in the gym. In my first six weeks of working out with the Tone and Sculpt app, I noticed I was losing a lot of fat and inches. I was losing fat in places that I wasn't expecting. I think that my legs were the first part of my body that I noticed a change in because my pants started fitting differently. Two months have passed since then, which means I've been using the app for almost four months now. And after those initial six weeks, I continue to work out three to four days a week. At first I was only doing two to three days, I got stronger and more confident, increased my workouts to three to four days a week. This made a ton of difference and I'm really glad that I started slow and worked my way up to a more regular workout schedule. Throughout the month of November, I continued the three to four days a week of workouts. I was still mostly doing full hour long workouts on the weekends and quick 15 minute workouts in the weekdays. Keep in mind that I do warm up as well as cool down before and after every single workout. I like to warm up by doing 15 to 20 minutes of cardio, and then I always cool down by doing foam rolling and stretching. So November was pretty consistent for me, nothing crazy happened. I continued taking progress pictures, but I wasn't really paying that much attention to how my body was changing. I mostly was just noticing that I was feeling stronger and I was able to have more fun with my workouts. Another great thing that happened for me in the month of November was consistency and comfortability. I was really consistent all month, working out three to four days a week with the Tone and Sculpt app, and being that consistent allowed me to become much more comfortable in the gym. As I mentioned in my first six weeks progress video, I am brand new to weightlifting. So I, just like many of you, had to learn how to get comfortable in the gym, especially in the weight room where there's always a ton of people crowding around trying to grab the same weights and use the same little corner and spaces inside the one room. I got really comfortable in the month of November and I think that that happened just through frequency and consistency. If the Tone and Sculpt app was asking me to use a machine that I'd never used before, I would find the machine in the workout room, I'd sit down on a bench, I would scroll through the app, look at exactly what Chrissy's doing in the workout video, and then I would wait and kind of watch someone else use the machine, wait for them to leave, and then go try it myself. This is one of the biggest recommendations I have for people who are brand new to the gym or weightlifting. Just sit and watch. Now by the end of November, I was feeling pretty lean, which was really awesome, and I was feeling very confident about going into the holidays with this established fitness routine. I didn't have to worry about eating certain foods, or feeling guilty, or feeling bad about myself. I had already started building this mental strength and positive mindset before the holidays ever came. Now let's talk about December. Chrissy Cello announced that she was going to do a December challenge with the Tone and Sculpt app, and I'm so happy to say that I completed the challenge. It worked out every day, it took me about 10 to 20 minutes, depending, and some of them were pretty easy, and then most of them were really, really hard for me, and definitely worked up a sweat and made me feel like I was being pushed in a friendly and gentle way. Now, because December is so busy and crazy for everyone with the holidays, I allowed myself the freedom to only focus on completing the challenges every single day. 
I didn't put a lot of pressure on myself to do full-on workouts knowing that for the next 24 days I will be doing something physical and I will be granting myself the ability to feel good about that. There was a straight two weeks where I only did the December challenge exercises. Uh, I slowed down a little bit and I'm really glad that I gave myself that permission to do so. As usual, I kept track of my December challenge progress on my Instagram at Keto with Kimmy, and this is what the December challenge looked like for me. gained all 24 stars from the Tone and Sculpt December Challenge. I also made some new friends on Instagram who are also part of the Tone and Sculpt community and I think that was probably the most satisfying and fun part for me was just getting to know everyone in the community online on social media, making new friends who live all over the world and know that uh, we're doing all the same workouts every single day in December. It was really cool. Was I glad the December challenge was over by the end of it? Absolutely. The last week was so difficult for me because holiday madness was in full swing and I also got really bad food poisoning and I just felt like sh crap all week. I didn't even get to eat real Christmas food. I was just sipping soup for a full on week and trying to finish my December challenge workouts. I had managed to finish them by breaking them up throughout the day, and sometimes that's what you gotta do. All in all, I'm really, really proud of myself for finishing the December challenge. I had never done a challenge like that before. I can totally see myself doing it again. So Chrissy, if you're wondering if we all want to see more challenges with Tone and Sculpt, the answer is yes! By the end of December, Christmas was over, the December challenge was done, and I finally sat down and took a look at my progress. And I just feel so freaking proud of myself. And I want to take a moment to really sit and revel in that. <sighs> I'm really proud of myself. I actually have noticed my muscles getting bigger, which is so awesome. Um, Seeing your muscles get bigger is really rad. It, it feels really cool. And as much as sometimes I feel like I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm like that person who's like flexing and posting on social media my new muscles. Hell yeah, I'm going to post my new muscles on social media because if no one sees it, did it actually happen? 
I cannot stress the importance of taking progress pictures. My mind tells me that I'm still not doing enough. My mind tells me that my body doesn't look that different. My mind also likes to tell me that I am getting stronger, but I'm not strong enough. Now, what does strong enough mean? I don't even know. It's just one of those thoughts in my head that I have to fight every day. And looking at progress pictures of myself really helps me win that fight. So here are my progress photos. I see significant changes in my arms, my bicep muscles, even my forearms are getting a little bit stronger from being able to climb again. I'm super, super happy to start seeing definition in my abs and my thighs are actually getting more muscular, which is really great. I'm not surprised though because there are so many squats involved in every single tone and sculpt workout. Like, if you're doing a full body workout, you're doing 100 squats. If you're doing a lower body workout, you're, we're probably doing 150 squats. And then even when it's an upper body day, I'm like, well, might as well throw in some more squats. I do weigh myself about once a month. I don't like to weigh myself more than that because... Honestly, it doesn't matter. And this is one of the hugest takeaways I have learned from using the Tone and Sculpt app for the past 15 weeks is that my weight truly does not matter. And it has taken me a long time to learn that lesson, but it's so true. I have lost inches. I have lost bloating. I have gained so much more muscle and definition than I thought I could in this amount of time. I've also emotionally and mentally gotten stronger and learned how to make my mind work for me. Like I said, it's January 3rd. The Tone and Sculpt app relaunched on January 1st with a bunch of amazing new features. The first version of the app was great. This new version of the app is awesome. It is just a little bit more of a seamless experience. I feel like Chrissy and her team spent the entire year working on this. It was really, really fantastic to watch Chrissy on social media and have her give us like secret updates about what they're working on and tell us there's big things coming in 2020. I love that she shares that journey with us and then gets us really excited for the actual launch or the actual announcements of whatever they're working on. The new app looks incredible. Chrissy just looks like a freaking beast, first of all, in all the workout videos. There's a community page, which I'm so stoked about because the Tone and Sculpt community like I've said before, is so friendly and so positive and it's really cool to just be part of something bigger than just me working out by myself. Some of the new features of the app that I've really been enjoying are one, the new videos, the fact that you can change or switch out specific exercises within your workout. There's a weekly planner which I can't get enough of. I love seeing all the workouts that I've completed as well as planning my future week's workouts. The team seems to continue to update the app now that it's launched. Sure, there's some glitches here and there or it might be a little slow when loading, but for the most part, I think that the upgrades to the app are a 10 out of 10. I'm also just really loving the new campaign videos that Tonoscope has been releasing. The ones where Chrissy is speaking to us or speaking to herself and the more I watch other people doing what they do, the more I respect Chrissy for just keeping it real with us constantly engaging on a daily basis, sharing the business side as well as a little bit of her personal life, but telling us when she needs to, when she needs to take a little break. I love that and it's so great to know that Tone and Sculpt is here for me if I ever have any questions. I will post another progress update video. If anyone has any questions about any of the experiences I've had or just wants to chat or hang out or follow me on Instagram, go ahead and check out Keto with Kimmy. Uh, leave a comment below and I will talk to you all soon. Happy New Year. Bye.